estamos platicando en español porque estamos en México. Ajá, sí. Sí, sí claro. Hi, guys. Sí, claro. ¿Cómo estás? I'm Tania and I am in Mexico with my sisters, Andrea and Karina. This is the first time that we are all three together and, well, while we are in Mexico, we wanted to talk about some of the traditions that we celebrate during the Christmas time or after the Christmas time. In this time will be Rosca de Reyes. Andrea, what is a Rosca de Reyes? Actually, uh, Rosca de Reyes is a pastry from Mexico. Uh, it is basically this uh, uh, rounded bread. Oh, no, it, but kind of like a donut, a huge donut. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So yeah, the Rosca de Reyes. It's a it's an oval shaped bread, and it has dry fruit and sugar, and you can eat this uh, bread with hot chocolate. Yes, perfect. And in fact, uh, Rosca de Reyes comes from immemorial times, from the past. <laughs> And you know, it was it used to be a pagan uh, tradition that then it was Christianized, and it became to be Rosca de Reyes. Yeah, and well, in the pagan times, it had like an almond inside. Was it an almond? Yeah, yeah almond. Yeah, something inside, and the one who will find that almond will be king for one day, for example, yes. or like will have some kind of reward. <laughs> Remark. Or, I don't know. And today, um, well, after it was Christianized, like Karina said, we have this little Jesus uh, toy that is inside uh, the Rosca de Reyes. There can be one or there can be many in, in every Rosca, it depends on the size. And it's, it represents the persecution that the uh, King Herod Uh, had during the time when the baby Jesus was born. And well, tell us about your experiences. How do you celebrate it? Or how do we celebrate it in Mexico? What yeah. do we do? Well, since I remember when I was a kid, always in the sixth, when we got the presents, like that day we would gather with the family and then we would cut the Rosca de Reyes. And in Mexico nowadays, what we do is that the one that gets the baby Jesus has to pay for tamales on the 2nd of February. <laughs> yeah, when you are little, you always want, want to, to get, get the, the, little, the little Jesus. Uh, but usually, when you're adult, then you don't want to get it because you actually have to pay for the, the tamales. The tamales. tamales. <laughs> yeah. And well, we can tell, talk about this later on, but tamales is like a delicious food that comes with like... Oh, Yeah, delicious. But we'll talk about that in another video of my Mexico Linda. So Rosca de Reyes is really a thing to enjoy with your family and friends, and it's like just one excuse to to gather all together and just eat more after Christmas and after New Year. There's still like January 6th or 5th where you can still eat Rosca de Reyes and get more fat. And <laughs> I also mentioned that we get presents this day because. In Mexico, uh, it's more the tradition that we get presents from the three wise men than from Santa Claus. And that's also one of the reasons that we eat Rosca de Reyes. The Reyes means the kings, the three kings. So, And this is celebrating, uh, or this is celebrated during the Epiphany. Uh, that's how it's called in English, the Epiphany. Epiphany. <laughs> blah, 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 blah. <laughs> <laughs> So that was it for today guys, thanks for watching and if you want to see more videos uh, related to Mexico, give thumbs up to this video so we can be keep uh, making videos about Mexico and Mexican culture. Thank you very much Karina and Andrea for joining us here and uh, it was really nice to have you guys. <laughs> <laughs> Well, if you want to see them more often in the videos, uh, please comment down in the comments down below <laughs> and let me know how crazy you think they are. And well, that was... Uh, 
That was it about the Rosca de Reyes. And if you ever come to Mexico uh, during January, make sure to try Rosca de Reyes. Thanks for watching, guys. And how do we say it? Bye bye. <laughs>